Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about the Black Larder X1500 trouser and this is a fantastic pair of trousers. Um, it's got so many features, I'll just try and skirt over a few of them just to give you a bit of an idea about these trousers and how good they are. Um, but the build quality on all the Black Larder products is phenomenal and uh, they give you some really good guarantees on stitching and so forth. So uh, if you find that you've brought a pair of trousers and stitching fails, um, Black Larder will look at it and uh, they'll either repair it or they'll replace it. And that's for the for the life of the trousers. So, so here we go. So the 1500 trouser, this particular version is in gray and it's a uh, cotton, um, cotton trouser. But what you do find with a 1500 trouser is most of the front of the trouser is covered in Kodrora which is like about 50 times stronger than normal cotton. And it's really, really tough. Um, it's not actually a heavy trouser at all. It looks it, but it's, it's you know, it is quite lightweight as well. Um, being cotton, it's great. So it's good for the summer, keeps you cool. Winter, keeps you warmer. A um, few little features around the bottom. You've got uh, Cordura around the hem, um, which is really good. So if you're on a building site and you're walking around, um, and these are dragging around then uh, basically that's that's gonna stop them sort of from fraying uh, you've also got inside here I mean these guys think of everything a little toggle which you can pull that in so you can gather the trouser in working up the the trousers you have a um, knee pad pocket on the front and, and these are bottom loading knee pads so the knee pad goes in it's like a pillowcase type fitting pops back down inside to stop it falling out uh, a lot of guys favour the top loading knee pad. Personally, I still think the bottom loading knee pad is really good. What you find with a top loading knee pad is eventually the Velcro will come away and the knee caps, pads just keep popping out all the time. So, you know, swings and roundabouts, whatever you like. You know, it's easier to put them in from the top, but basically a lot of guys put the knee pads in these trousers, they leave them in, that's it. They even wash them in there, but, you know, that's up to them. So what you've got on here is you've got a, um, one side you've got a traditional knife holster type, which is really good if you're a carpet fitter, you know, you can put on a standing knife onto here. And you've also got like a nice little pocket. Uh, you know, you can put anything in these. Um, you've got this, uh, you see this a lot on trousers at the moment, which is basically a, like a little pencil holder. And as your pencil wears down and you put it in your pocket, you can't get it out. They put these little slips in there and then you can pop them out also I'm told. Um, you've got a concealable, concealable ID badge um, that actually tucks inside the trousers if you don't want it. It's quite good. Um, you can wear your ID badge when you're on a building site so people know who you are. Uh, they're going to be looking down at your leg, which is a bit weird, but anyway, it has got that feature. Now, what I do like actually is the pockets on this leg. So um, you've basically got <laughs> a pocket with a waterproof sort of liner inside which is really good so if you're putting your smartphone in there it's great you can zip it up keep it fairly waterproof i'm not saying that's going to be waterproof all the time but you know it's it's probably a better protection that you've got on any other trousers at the moment um this pocket here was really a foam pocket um you could use it for other things i can't really see what it would be much useful these days really um it's, it's a bit small um i like the fact that it's at an angle and when it was originally brought out these pair of trousers it was for a phone so that if you were kneeling down, you could literally just take that straight out without having to try and get your arm or hand down into your trouser pocket. Um, you got more pockets here. <laughs> you got pockets everywhere on these trousers. So moving up to the top of the trousers, uh, you have a nail pocket and that tucks inside the trousers. And this here, basically this goes right through to the inside of the trousers. Um, if you don't want these pockets, they tuck inside and they're actually on the inside of the trousers, not tucked in the front pockets, which they are on most trousers. Um, so if you tuck them out of the way, then you do end up with like a, a normal chino or, you know, flat fronted trouser. So yeah, that's, that's quite a nice, nice feature. Um, just quickly on the back here, you have quite big rear pockets, which is really good. So if you're up a ladder and you put loads of screws in your pockets, and they're nice and deep, but they're also really good because they're made on the crease of the material, which basically stops your stitching splitting there. And uh, yeah, so that is the X1500 trouser from Black Larder. It comes in lots of different fabrics, lots of different colors. Uh, it's a really, really good trouser. It's not cheap. It's a premium, premium brand trouser, but price wise, value for money. If you get a pair of these trousers, you probably won't go back to anything else. Really, really good. Okay, so that's Black Larder. 
For more great reviews, blogs and free stuff, visit AskAD.com. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. And for more videos, click here.